everyone so today I'm here with a book haul so the first textbooks I'm going to show you are books I got um, between like the last two weeks of April and the books after that I'm going to show you are books that I was given today so I'm just getting started with the first couple that I got in April and then we can talk about the ones that I got today so the first book I got was The Truth About Melody Brown by Lisa Jewell I picked this up in WH Smith 450p in the clearance and I think it sounds really good. I'm trying to get back into reading adult books and this one sounds like it's going to be a good one. The next one I got is Blood On My Hands by Todd Strasser. This is the second book in the Thrillology series. I don't know what the first one is but this one was 50p in W. H. Smith as well. I didn't know it was the second one when I picked it up otherwise I wouldn't have but oh well. The next three books I picked up from the works in the three for five pounds. The first two I've already read but I wanted physical copies of them and they are Under the Never Sky and Through the Evernight by Veronica Rossi. I couldn't pass up these covers because they're so pretty. I love these ones. And then I picked up Entice by Carrie Jones which means I now had the full lead series and I can go ahead and reread the first two books and then finish the series. And the last book I got in April was The Secret of Ella and Misha by Jessica Sorensen. I picked this up in Tesco for £3.85 and this was when I was on my new adult kick so yeah I'll hopefully get around to reading this one soon. So now we're on to the exciting part of my book haul. So today is my 20th birthday and I got nine books for my birthday. I have te I got Technically I got 10 but the last one is pre-order and doesn't come out until the 7th of May so I haven't got it yet and I'm really annoyed about that but I should have it within the next couple of days and I'm really excited. So I'm just going to get started with the books that I got for my birthday. So the first one I got was The Goddess Test by Amy Carter and I have been dying to get my hands on this book for ages. I think, I think it's been on my wish list on Goodreads since I started using Goodreads and yeah I'm so excited to have this. The next book I got is Unremembered by Jessica Brody. This is a debut novel for this year. I much prefer the US cover but I think this one is pretty cool as well. Yeah I'm really really excited to read this one because it's about this girl who is in a plane crash. Yeah and she's the only survivor and she has no memories and yeah, I'm really excited to see her journey for this and I know there's going to be a lot of action hopefully in it. The next one I got is Die For Me by Amy Plum. I am completely in love with this cover and yeah it's set in Paris as well and I'm so so excited to read this. I love books that are set in Paris even though I've only read like two but still <laughs> I'm so excited to read this one because it just sounds amazing. The next book I got is Wicked Lovely by Marissa Marr. I think I checked this out of the library sometime last year and never ever got around to reading it so yeah I'm quite happy that I got this one for birthday because I have the second book on my shelf so I needed the first book before I could read this one so I have it now and now I can read them. The next book I got is Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendra Blake. I have already read this one but I read it online last year and uh, it gave me a headache so I don't really much I don't really remember much of the book and plus I want to buy Girls Nightmares this year so I needed a copy of this so that I can reread it and remember what happened in the story and then I can read the second one and buy the second one and plus I just wanted to own a copy of this because it's so pretty. The next book I got is one that came out a couple of days ago and it's Acid by Emma Pass. This is a dystopian novel and I am so excited for this one. It sounds amazing. It just looks as if it's going to be such a brilliant dystopian novel and I'm really into reading dystopians right now so I can't wait to read this one. The next book I got is one that I have been dying to get my hands on forever and it's Ten by Gretchen McNeil. I absolutely love, love the cover of this book. It's so, so pretty. And even underneath the dust jacket is pretty as well with the red in there yeah but this one is about a group of teenagers who go to a house party on an island and there is serial killer who tries to kill them all and i'm so excited to get stuck into this one i can't wait the next one i got is altered by jennifer rush i've seen so many amazing reviews for this book that i just knew it had to be one that i got for my birthday plus look at that cover just 
oh I had to have this on my shelf and I had to read it because I just can't ignore the amount of amazing reviews for this and I'm so excited to get stuck into this one. And the last one I got is probably my most anticipated 2013 debut novel release and it's Let the Sky Fall by Shannon Messenger. I couldn't wait for this one to come out when I read the synopsis probably a couple of months ago and I was dying to get my hands on a copy so I just knew this had to be one of the books that I asked for for my birthday and yeah I'm so happy to have it plus look at the cover, look at the colours and the picture on it, it's, everything about it is just beautiful and I can't wait to start reading this one. The last book I asked for for my birthday was The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey but since it doesn't come out until May 7th I don't have it to show you guys but it will be in my next book haul and I probably will buy some more books this month since I have some money to spend as well and yeah so you can probably expect another book haul this month probably towards the end of the month though so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this book haul I know I did because I'm so excited to get stuck into my new books so yeah thank you guys for watching this and I'll see you guys later bye everyone